97.5 WABB. Coming up here in the next 10 minutes, why I almost had a heart attack this morning at 3 a.m. while babysitting eight puppies. I cannot wait for this story. You've been teasing this it's to me coming, all morning. It's I'm excited. Coming. Hush. Okay. 97.5 WABB. Uh, we got a special guest in the studio, though. Uh, the Ringling Brothers Bar and Bailey Circus coming to the Mobile Civic Center beginning today to the 12th. And we want to welcome uh, into the studio uh, Jonathan, the ringmaster. That's right, oh, The greatest show That's on earth. Right. You get to say Ladies that. and there gentlemen, children of all ages, wake up, wake up. It is your ringmaster, Jonathan Lee Iverson of Ringling Brothers in Barnum and Bailey. The greatest show on earth. The longest running hit show in the history of the world. And we're bringing the party to you, Mobile, Alabama. That's right. It's Barnum 200 at the Mobile radio. Civic Center. He needs to do radio. I don't That's even know. I can't. How, how do you, how do you <laughs> I'm come back to do radio or create my own religion? Tickets still available now. Hit up Mobile <laughs> Civic Center. Uh, and, and this is kind of cool. If you go to a uh, subway location while supplies last, uh, say five bucks, they got coupons at every uh, subway location here. So check that out. Ringling Brothers Bar and Bailey Circus. 200 years. It's uh, huge. People are excited. We've been hooking up uh, WDB listeners with tickets. I. Uh, what to expect? You're going the opening night tonight, or you're going uh, Friday or Saturday? Well, come on out, come on out to the show, and you get to enjoy a pre-show. Pre-show, and that's one hour before the big show starts. Oh wow! You get to come down to the arena floor. You get to meet the artists. You get to try on vintage costumes. You get to play with the clowns if you're not afraid of them. You get to enter your name into win an original painting by Kelly Ann the Elephant. It's a great event. And then there's the big show. And in the big show, you'll watch seven motorcycles inside a 16-foot sphere going 70 miles per hour. You'll watch this beautiful Argentinian woman who's barely 100 pounds balance her husband of 150 pounds over her head, and she's wearing three-inch pumps. So if your girlfriend <laughs> ever complains about her shoes again, just refer to Virginia. And then, I mean, you have these beautiful Mongolians from you know, who, like, bend their bodies and shapes I can't really talk about on radio because I'll lose my job. But it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it's just a marvelous show. It's just obese with talent. It's what we do. We've been doing it for 140 years with the longest-running hit show in the world. And we just keep, keep it going. Now, the animals. Can't forget about the animals, man. Love the animals. Yes. Love them. You call me off guard, you're like, oh, I'm the uh, lion trainer. So I'm like, well, what the hell's the lion? Oh, what if we want a lion? Yeah, because you didn't know what I did. He's like, oh, what did you do exactly? Because he was winging it. I he was, was, I he did, was winging you know what? it. He was like, uh. I did wing it. I, I'll admit it. I he was, was like, well, I forgot you were coming in. <laughs> no, yeah, we, 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 know, we knew we were coming in. We knew we were coming in, but uh, the, the, so the, the, the animals. Yes. The ex the expectation, the elephants, the lions, the tigers, yeah. any other a animals that people aren't aware that are normally at the circus. Right, right. Well, we always have. Um, we don't have any lions in this show. Okay. Um, but we always have elephants. I mm -hmm. mean, elephants are really Staple. what the show is built yeah. on. I mean, mm -hmm. the people come for that, and it doesn't matter who you have if you don't have elephants. This show can't go up. Um, <laughs> we have elephants, we have tigers, we have exotic animals, miniature horses, ponies, okay. uh, even miniature donkeys, and so we have a beautiful Watusi, um, and that's like an it's an African bull. It's got these like long horns and everything. And what's, that, what's the Watusi going to be doing? Oh, he's just going to make an appearance. I mean, when you look at this, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the beauty. He, didn't do anything. he doesn't really even do anything. He just comes out, and people, go, oh my goodness, look at him! And he just walks out and then walks off. Talking to the ringmaster of the Ringling Brothers. His name Barnum is Bailey Pee Wee. Circus. Giving shout outs to Pee Wee. That's his name. What up, Pee Wee? <laughs> How do you become a ringmaster? Like, if people are listening, especially little kids right now, they're listening. They love the circus and they're not afraid of clowns. So they're like, oh, I want to be that guy, the guy that runs the circus. How do you become a ringmaster? By accident. Yeah, really? Really. I was um, actually, uh, when I was in college, I, stu I was studying for an opera career. And then I graduated. I was about 22 at the time. Of course, I was unemployed, and I'm like, you know, what am I going to do? I was actually going to prepare to go to Europe and study over there. And so I went to an audition for a dinner theater, and it so happened the director of the dinner theater, who so happens to be directing Spider-Man uh, Turn Off the Dark now, was also directing Ringling Brothers. Oh, wow. And um, he called me. He was impressed with the audition, and he was like, would you be interested in becoming ringmaster Ringling Brothers? So it was like... I said, yeah, you know, I mean, it just sounds fun. It sounds really cool. Of course, I heard the name Ringling Brothers. I grew up in New York City, uh -huh. so Madison Square Garden, it was always a big sure. event. And I thought, well, why not? I could do that for a few years and go back into opera. But nobody told me I'd fall in love with it. So it was like one of those things where, you know, my mindset was in one place. and But I, while my mindset was in that one place, I was actually being prepared 
for this career. I mean, it's a monster of a career. It's very rigorous. The schedule is un. I can only imagine. Like, what, what kind yeah. of vacation do you have? Well, you know, I just came back from vacation. Okay. <laughs> about three weeks, actually. Yeah, everybody's refreshed. But, um, you know, it, it, we, do, we do over 450 shows a year. Um, but it's great, man. I mean, you get to see this beautiful country. I mean, we travel by train. We travel That's the, the cool world's thing. largest private The train, train is the really yeah. the neat thing. It's, it's so old school in that sense, but it's got that antiqueness to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Jonathan, I look forward to seeing you this weekend again tonight, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Did I get that right? Did I get that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, Mobile yes, Civic Center. Tickets still available. And again, get that five-buck coupon at Subway. Send us out one more time of the way you entered. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, don't miss it. Mobile Civic Center, the greatest show on earth. May all your days be ringling brothers and bottom and Bailey days. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate right, it, man. man. Take care, man. Jennifer Lopez.